Now, before we dive into all those Next.js features and learn them in depth, I want to give you a general overview of what you can expect from this course and which content will be in this course. Of course, also simply go through the curriculum, which you can see, to see what's included in the course and when you're going to learn what. But in general, you could say that this course has three main types of content, three main content blocks. We have the basics and foundation block, which is about all these key features you have to know when working with Next.js and where I will introduce those key features with theory and small examples. We then also dive into many more advanced concepts throughout this course, the concepts which you will need for your real apps you're building, for the production ready apps you're building, and we'll also have summary content. So summaries and refreshers, which are there to save your time, to allow you to quickly summarize what you learned or to fill gaps, which you might have, for example, related to React. Now in the course modules that make up this basics and foundation block, and that's important, by the way, these blocks are not the course sections, but the categories you could group those course sections into. We will have more course sections than what you will see on this slide. Here, I'm just outlining the main concepts and categories of content you will learn. So in this basics and foundation block of content, you will, for example, learn about file-based routing. We will have a course section on that. We are, of course, also going to take a very close look at page pre-rendering, server-side rendering, and fetching data for page pre-rendering. So preparing and fetching data on the server side instead of on the client side, and when to use which approach because it turns out that we will have different approaches and different solutions here. We will also explore how we can combine Next.js features and Next.js pages with standard React features, standard React components, and features like context and refs and everything that makes up React. And you'll see that it is very straightforward and very easy. Nonetheless, we're going to take a look at that as well. And we are also going to explore API routes and how we can build full stack applications with Next.js. So these are all the core concepts which we'll explore in depth throughout this course. But then we're also going to dive into advanced concepts. We are going to explore optimization opportunities, for example how we can set page metadata, how we can optimize images so that we serve small images and load them lazily, things like that. We are going to look behind the scenes and explore some theory. In this course, you're not just going to learn how to do something, but also why and what happens behind the scenes. We are, of course, also exploring deployment and configuring our app for deployment, different ways of building a Next.js application, and I will show you a detailed deployment example from A to C, where we at the end have our Next.js project up and running on a production server. In this course, we are also going to explore authentication and how you can add authentication to your Next.js project, because it turns out that it works a bit differently than in standard React apps, that it's easier than in standard React apps, and you're going to learn what's easier and how it works in this course. And then regarding those summaries and refreshers, as I said, they are there to save you time and fill gaps. Because, for example, this course includes a full React.js refresher module. Actually, that will be the next module after this course section. And you can, of course, skip that React.js refresher if you already know React, if you have no gaps, and if you're ready to dive into Next.js. But if it has been some time since you last worked with React, if you especially have no experience or not enough experience with functional components and React hooks, 
or if you only have basic React knowledge in general, then this React.js refresher module is there for you to ensure that we're all on the same page. So definitely go through that next module in that case. If you already have a solid understanding of React.js, if you know functional components and React hooks, then you can skip it. And at the end of the course, you will also find a Next.js summary module, which summarizes all those key features again, and which therefore ensures that if you're coming back to this course in a couple of months or even years, you got a quick way of going through all these key features again without having to go through the entire course again. And even if you just finished the course, that summary module can be very nice for quickly wrapping up the course and again making sure that you fully understood all those key features and that you have the best possible preparation for building your own Next.js projects. Now that's the content. All this content will be taught with theory and small demos and examples, but we will then also have multiple bigger projects, more realistic projects, where we also apply what we learned so that you have both small focused examples and the theory, and then the bigger picture where everything comes together. And you also, of course, should practice what you learned. From time to time throughout this course, I will challenge you to try out something on your own, but I also challenge you right now to do this even if I don't tell you to try something on your own. Consider pausing the course and the videos from time to time and try out the next steps on your own without looking at my solution first. So definitely also take a hands-on approach on your own and apply what you learned in your own projects outside of this course and also in the bigger course projects before we then build them together throughout this course. This will then ensure that you really understand what you're learning.